How to choose a network cable. In this video, we'll compare the speeds and bandwidth between a couple different versions of category cable and what makes each one better than the previous edition. First, we have Cat5. It can handle a speed of 100 megabits a second up to 100 meters. It supports a frequency bandwidth of 100 megahertz. The pairs are twisted to prevent crosstalk. Each wire is a 24 gauge copper conductor. This category is now obsolete and has been largely replaced by Cat5e. Cat5e can go up to 1 gigabit per second at up to 100 meters. It supports up to 100 megahertz if using CCA or copper clad aluminum cable, and up to 350 megahertz if using bare copper. It usually also has 24 wire gauge conductors, but the pairs are twisted together a little tighter than Cat5 to help with the crosstalk. Cat6 can also handle 1 gigabit per second up to 100 meters, but it can also do 10 gigabits per second up to 55 meters. It supports up to 250 megahertz with CCA cable and up to 500 megahertz with bare copper. What makes it better is the 23 gauge conductors, making each wire a little thicker than Cat5e for better conductivity. Also, the pairs are twisted even tighter than Cat5e to help with crosstalk. Some Cat6 even comes with a spline between the pairs to minimize crosstalk even more and regulate how tightly they're twisted around each other. Cat6A handles 10 gigabits a second up to 100 meters and supports up to 500 megahertz of bandwidth. The pairs are twisted even tighter than Cat6 to help with crosstalk and allow the higher bandwidth. It's also common to find each pair individually foil shielded as well as an overall braided shield. Cat 7 handles 10 gigabits a second up to 100 meters and supports up to 600 megahertz. What helps this category cable perform better than the previous ones is more strict and precise manufacturing processes, in addition to the individual shielded pairs and overall shield to dramatically reduce crosstalk and interference. Cat 7A has shown test results up to 40 gigabits a second up to 50 meters and 100 gigabits a second up to 15 meters. It's designed to support 1,000 megahertz. Cat 8 is still in development, but a very reliable source, the internet, states that it will have at least 1.6 to 2 gigahertz frequency bandwidth and will be able to handle 25 to 40 gigabit ethernet at longer runs with no problem. To sum up, Cat 5e will do just fine in residential installs and small offices with network speeds below 1 gigabit per second. Cat 6 and Cat 6a is recommended for larger installs, like university campuses, big office buildings, or to just future-proof your home if you're not already one of the lucky ones who has 10 gigabit per second internet service in your area. Cat 7 and Cat 7a is commonly found in bandwidth-intensive applications like data centers or other places where the extra interference protection is needed. Cat 8 will most likely be found in bat caves, supervillain layers, and other insanely high bandwidth applications. Hopefully this will give you a better idea of what type of networking cable you need. Remember to take into consideration not only the speed requirements of your current network, but also consider the benefit over the cost of future-proofing your install. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the links to learn more.